Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, and believe it or not, I have been hired as the manager of a nuclear facility. This is my house, by the way, it's right by the nuclear power plant, because, you know, they said I could work, work from home. They said it definitely wasn't a pyramid scheme. I'm a little bit scared, but it's okay, we're gonna use this uh, nuclear reactor, it's gonna be great. I don't... red, blue... What do red and blue do? Ah, it's fine. Red. Okay. It would appear that red uh, actually started the reaction. That's great. We can see the temperature. Uh, it doesn't seem like the temperature is really getting the water going. So, uh, I'll just... Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it a little bit more excited. I'm sure no- oh, does this let the water through? Oh, that's important! Good thing I thought of that, because that could have been pretty damn catastrophic had I not done that. <laughs> okay, great, the turbines are running, and uh, everything is- everything is fantastic, because as you can see, my house now has power and I can play more Minecraft. Very nice. And it looks like we are actually transmitting the heat across to the cooling chambers. Uh, but we can get the power generation up a bit more, so let's do that. I have faith. Let's just, uh, it's only 300 degrees. I can push it a little bit harder. What is this made out of up here? Just metal? I don't know what temperature that can handle. Okay, I may have went a little bit too far. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna cool down. It's gonna cool down. It's gonna cool down. It's gonna cool down. Everything's fine. Calm down. The core it took a little bit of damage, but it, it cooled down, and it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. See, the cooling towers are taking care of it all. There is no reason to be worried, and my house is fine. It is 150 degrees. Uh, and it looks like the equipment outside is getting a little bit toasty as well, but that's okay. Everything's fine, don't worry. We must continue to, 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 to push the world to new heights using the beauty of nuclear technology. We need more power, because I'm gonna start mining Ethereum. So uh, I'm just gonna... What happens if I just run this as hard as I can? Oh! Oh! Okay, so that may have been a little bit too far. So it looks like you do not want to, uh, you don't want to do that. So let me go ahead and get my friend the cool tool. They're pretty cool. And just cool everything down a little. What, what just happened to that dot there? That's a little concerning. What is hidden? Oh! Oh. Living life on the edge, aren't we? I guess the the plutonium's where we're getting the neutrons from. We just can't let it die. Okay. <laughs> okay, not it's fine. Spike Viper, the nuclear plant operator, knows what he's doing. Everything's gonna be alright. Uh oh, it looks like me cooling that down actually broke the entire thing. Oh, because there was probably wireless. It's fine. I can just electric this. I'm sure... Okay, that worked, actually. Surprisingly, who needs the actual controls when you can do the Spike Viper version? Oh, okay, fine. 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 The Spike Vi My house is fine, though. So, in at the end of the day, everything is... No, my house! Okay, my house is still fine. Oh! My house is still kind of fine. Okay. So yes, today we're going to play Nuclear Operator, uh, so we're going to go through all the different nuclear power plants and uh, just, just have fun with them. So this is a fully automatic nuclear power plant right here. I've played with this one a lot in the past. Uh, it's a lot of fun, it's currently in the on position, um, we, we have scram and stuff, very exciting. I just have to remember how to do this. All right. P, C, S, C, primary, secondary, loop. C1, C2 are control rods. I don't know which way is on and which way is off. I think that's on. So turn that bad boy off. See, coolant is, is completely unnecessary in modern nuclear reactors. Whoever thinks that 
coolant is necessary is honestly just a scary cat. They don't understand. They don't understand how these things work. So where's V2? Because it says V1, V2 steam water valves. There's V1. But I don't see V2 anywhere. I don't see anything coming down here. The entire thing isn't even running. Oh, shoot! Oh, so that's on. Oh, shoot, I had it, like, running in the complete wrong way. Fantastic. I'm so glad to know that I w had it completely screwing up. Um, is the controller rod on? I wish it said what on and off were. Like, if I flip these down, is that... I feel like that's on. Jeez, I wish they wrote a guide for this. All I have is running a nuclear reactor for dummies on my desk. It's fine. Okay, so that's that's definitely cooling off. Uh, which we don't need because that's a waste of money. We're actually generating electricity now, which is great. We do not... No, see, that... That should be on. That should be on. I was right before, right? Because... Huh. Okay, so the valve is to close. So green does not mean open. Green means closed, I guess. That's a little bit confusing, so I you shouldn't blame me. <laughs> Don't blame me for having that wrong. Primary, secondary control loop. Uh, we can actually... Or primary, secondary loop. We can turn that off. Turn that back on. We can turn that off. Turn it back on. No real difference. Uh, it's actually quite hard to make this melt on, apparently. Um, I have a few ideas on how we could assist it. Assist it in melting down. Um, primarily having to do with setting the life of the deuterium to like two. Or Hmm. Or 50? I'm actually qu- Oh, there it goes! There it goes! Alright, so we're at a thousand degrees now. Inside of it. It's a little bit concerned. Um, I'm honestly surprised the whole thing isn't falling apart yet. It's actually functioning quite well, considering. Oh, something broke in it. It just... it didn't even do a fun meltdown, it just stopped. What the heck, man? I cannot believe this. This is... this is... this is so sad, I can't make it go out in, like, glory. There we go! There is some glory. Oh, jeez. Yeah, if you see fire, that's hilarious. So the entire thing melted down and it sucked the melted down core through the system. If you see fire coming out of the cooling tower of a nuclear reactor, just run. Run in the opposite direction. It's, it's just not worth being there. It's just not worth being in the general vicinity. Not good for your health. Because right after that, you're going to have big boom time. Boom! There we go. Very nice. Very beautiful. Fantastic. <sighs> Alright. What other... I just... what? It, let's see what the top rated nuclear... Well, let's just write power plant. I want to see the top power plants. Okay, this is the one we were just at. We were just at that one. Oh, that one's like 3D, but it's it's uh, just art. You've got new uranium power plant V1.0, nuclear fission power plant. Oh, this one looks kind of neat. This one looks very neat. This one looks very, very neat. Oh, shoot, okay, uh, 
For easy start, click Turbine Valve. Oh, jeez. Okay, alright. Click Turbine Valve. There are so many controls! Turbine Valve. Neutron Beam. Water Coolant. Water coolant, water, water coolant, cooling tower, and core. Use spark on buttons. Neutron beam starts the reactor. Water coolant injects enough coolant with one click. Core activates automatic rod control. Cooling tower condenses steam into liquid. Turbine valve enables or disables power generation. Refuel reactor does exactly that. Boiler lid is used to contain and build steam pressure. Vent steam is emergency steam release. Okay. Fantastic. So, we have no power output right now. But uh, we've activated everything that should be activated, I believe. We have these valves moving. So this is going into here now, and then it's going out. Okay! Fantastic, rather than the bypass. Alright. So it's definitely reacting in here. Oh shoot, I'm supposed to do this uh, console command. Alright. Element... Oh shoot. Uh, Elements.property... 182, comma, high temperature, comma, 9999. Alright, I did as I'm supposed to. I think that prevents polonium from melting so that this can, uh, can do its thing a little bit more easily. And it would appear that's exactly what it's doing. Oh, look at it go. This is, uh, getting quite warm. Hopefully it's able to hold up. Gee. So the control rods are supposed to automatically handle... How? Sometimes I just look at this game and I go, how? How do people even design these things? <laughs> Alright, we're almost getting to the point where the steam is down here. Almo oh, look, the control rods are moving. It's happening. That is insane. Look at it go. Wow, this is getting very, very hot. Hot enough that I'd be a little bit concerned. Like, they really made it go on the edge. Alright, so I'm assuming we have to make it actually do the turbine. Right? Oh shoot, no, I want to turn the- I thought we could turn on the steamer turbine. So you can turn the boiler lid on. But it looks like no power is going through the turbine, so... Oh! Oh no, there it goes! It's doing it! It's doing a thing! Oh, it's actually turning the turbine! Okay, we're, we have power! Look! We've got, we've got a graph that's starting to be built. This is so neat. The whole, the whole idea of it building a graph is just insane. Like, what a genius, genius design. And it does it because this goes at a different speed depending on the amount of power, and it adds a pixel each time, so... Oh, wow, our power generation is actually getting quite, quite large. We're, we're growing exponentially! Uh-oh. That makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, hopefully it... Hope, okay, okay, it's calming down a little bit. Or is it? Or is it? Um... Uh... Uh... Okay, hopefully... Hopefully that isn't a sign that I'm doing something wrong, and that's a sign that I'm doing something right. I mean, that's a lot of power, and it's not melting down. Just a note, not melting down. Okay, yeah, it looks like it peaked there. So we've got the power generation going full throttle, everything looks pretty good. I'm curious what the boiler lid does, it's to build pressure. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens if we chuck the boiler lid up. Oh, there it, oh, it just throws it right there. That is an 
Oh. Okay, so the power generation is going to kind of tank because the pressure here is going to drop. The pressure in here is getting so high. Look at it go. 22, 23. How much pressure can this hold? I don't think there's anything in here that should, like, break from high pressure, but still. Uh, that is, that is a lot. Power generation. Oh, so that's really neat, too. So it actually has inertia. It uh, takes a little bit for the turbine to stop spinning after it started. That is fantastic. That is really good work. This is such a realistic reactor. I love it. Uh, wow, okay, the pressure is getting really quite high. If we go on to the, uh, norm the pressure display, we can see where the uh, steam is. The red is where it isn't, so it's almost filling the entire thing now. That is pretty, pretty high pressure. I should probably let it out before something goes horribly wrong. I don't know. Can titanium... I think titanium can handle infinite pressure. Something's going on down here, though. Uh, the gold at the bottom of here is actually melting. Uh-oh! So it would appear that capping the, uh, the old... Well, boiler tanks can cause major issues because it's holding the heat in with the steam and now we're starting to get molten gold and the titanium isn't molten but it probably could reach that point if I let this continue. Um, I wonder if we can cause a full meltdown just by leaving the cap on them. There is a steam warning that is flashing. Uh, we could vent the steam but I'm not going to. We're just gonna wait and see what happens. This titanium is uh, at 1140. I don't know what temperature titanium melts at. But this gold is certainly melting. Look at it go. The interesting thing is no more water can even be added because the point it's added from is just melting. Absolutely. Now all of that gold is melted. This would be a very, very challenging problem to fix at this point. Um, it would be kind of catastrophic because at the, the, you have just molten gold. Uh, you could just throw the control rods in, but we're going to do the opposite because we're smart. We're going to take the control rods out. Not all the way. Just, just a little bit. The temperature is going to rise, of course, because of this. And we're going to see what happens when you really push things to their limits. It's automatically putting the control rods back in, but it's too late. <laughs> and we have a full-on meltdown situation. See? Even the automated system can't stop me. Going all the way back. Oh shoot, I can't go all the way back. I've screwed up horribly. Okay, it, oh, I clicked on it too many times. That sucks. Okay, but we know how to turn it on. We do this, 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 this. Fortunately, it takes a little bit to start up, so let me just manually get some heat into the core. I'm sure this is not recommended. Kids, do not manually heat your reactors. It's probably not very safe. There we go. Kickstart it. A little bit of kickstarting going on here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. <clears throat> I'm kind of curious what this does down here. Um... So if this was all open and I started playing with the control rods, I assume it would still freak out and die. Vent steam. I want to see how it vents the steam. Oh, it opens that there. Oh, so that, would, that wouldn't even save it. Interesting, because it closes off here. That venting steam wouldn't actually do much at all. And the last thing we did. Refuel reactor brings those up. Whoa, that is pretty damn neat. Not gonna lie. 
Look at that! I have- oh, and it uses this to refuel- G This is such a genius design, I am honestly shocked. Honestly so impressed. So impressed. <laughs> Literal art. Literal art. That's insanity. Alright, let's turn the neutron beam back up and just remove the control rods, because who needs those? Alright, and it's getting a little bit toasty. It's getting a little bit toasty in there. It'll probably automatically throw the control rods in, but it may be too late. I may have went a little bit too far. Uh, is it going to be able to make up for my horrible mistake? Is the automated system going to catch this? It's trying, it's trying. There it goes, it's putting the control rod in. It's trying its best. But uh, what if I fight it? Oh, it's flashing! It's flashing because it's right on the edge of having... Having a <laughs> catastrophe. Uh, no, I I don't want the control rods in. I want to make energy. That's my job is to make power. My job isn't to worry. It's to power homes and businesses. There we go. We won't take them out all the way. We'll just take them out. Oh, and she goes kaplooey. Now we have a steam warning as well. It's okay guys, everything's gonna be fine. We're just gonna pour water into the meltdown, and uh, nobody will even know. The outside of the building wasn't breached, so uh, we'll just use the meltdown to generate power. Get as much profit out of this as we can before it's too late. And we'll just uh, cut a hole here so we can get this going through directly. Probably a little bit safer that way. Just allow this to go through directly as well. Don't worry, our cooling system has been majorly upgraded by just bypassing the whole power generation stage entirely. They may be saying, didn't you just say you were going to make power? But I'm slightly concerned about the death of everyone in this town, so I'm just going to cool this down before this elephant foot down here decides to do something funny. It's kind of interesting, it actually did form the, like, mass of your... Uh, although the polonium isn't really doing much. Let's go ahead and put plutonium in. Uh, ooh, it just melted through the floor. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's bad. That's unfortunate. Really is a shame. Re <laughs> really unfortunate. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Hey, now that the video's over, I hope you vote for me to become your local nuclear power plant operator. Also, if you want to support me or in the channel, you should... Did I just say or and? Or and? If... What? Alright, anyways, please like, subscribe, and comment below. What am I doing? What What is happening to me? Oh god. Oh.